Right, I'm only gonna do this if these guys are on lunch. Okay, I see, I, I see them in the, in the van. We're, we're good, we're good. to do this. But let's go. Actually, wait, I need to wait 20 minutes first. people so we're focusing on warming up today um, we're letting the pre-workout kick in whilst we warm up which is something that I've kind of neglected since moving back home usually I would uh, when I was back at uni I would take the pre-workout when I got to the gym I would warm up and then it would kick in since I've been here and the gym is here and home is well there I tend to just take it let it kick in and then come in um, which does mean that at times I can neglect my warm-ups, um, but it's cold in here, it's very cold in here. Um, and so, it's time to get into a good freaking solid chest day. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. If you are tuned in today, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Drop a like, drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get warmed up and let's get into this home gym chest day. Starting off with something a little bit different. Time and time and time and time and time and time and time again, you see people starting off with flat barbell bench press, flat dumbbell bench press, and then moving on to incline. Technically a harder lift when they have less energy. And then a few years down the line, they complain about having no upper chest and need to build up their upper chest. So one thing I like to throw in every now and then is starting with incline. Not every single time, because don't get me wrong, I want to see my flat barbell bench press progress more so than my incline, because that's just a personal goal of mine. But change it up every now and then, especially when you're in a situation like this, when you have the gym to yourself, you can literally do anything you want, whenever you want. We are working our way up with pyramids. We started off with 60 kg for 12 reps, worked our way up to 70 kg for 10 reps. Now we're gonna put on 80 kg for eight, okay? Once we've reached the top, we're gonna to work our way back down again, and then we'll move on. Let's get going. Oh, 
Ooh. Okay, we only managed six reps on that, but to be honest, the intensity has been very, very freaking high. The rest time has been very much down. The only rest time I've had has been talking to you guys. So I'm happy with that. We'll do one more set and then we'll work our way back down. I just had the weirdest sensation. Halfway through that lift, I knew that my left side was coming up, so I had this real conscious moment of stop, pause, drive that leg into the ground, squared myself up and got the rep up. I mean, we still only got to six, but I say only, that's 80 kg on an incline. Yeah, that's, that's good for me. Time to drop it back down, get some more reps in, get some more volume in, and get a sick freaking fuck. <laughs> Finishing 15 reps strong. Let's move on. Exercise number two coming up. We are going to move on to some chest flies. Just chest flies, standing, nothing special, nice squeeze. For those of you thinking, Liam, it's only your second exercise, you're already going on to isolation movements. Shut up, okay? Mind your own business, okay? I'm trying out new stuff. This is a chance for me to experiment. If you've been watching the channel for a while, uh, or well, for the past couple of weeks anyway, you will know that I've been experimenting with different training techniques, different stuff, and this is me doing exactly that. So shut up and enjoy. Thing is, I didn't really focus before that. I was too busy taking the pin. Next up, low cable flies. Oh god. One thing that people tend to get wrong with these is one, they go too heavy. So drop the ego, drop, oh, drop the ego, drop the weight, and go from there. Okay, cables adjusted to the bottom. Release them, step forward. Slight bend in the arm. One thing people tend to do is turn this into a curl. You want that slight bend in the arm to stay there the whole motion, okay? So slight bend at the bottom, slight bend at the top. The difference being, we're not curling them up like this. Slight bend, boom, squeeze. Come back down, okay? Three, two, one. Down, two, three. Imagine you've got a pencil in between your chest. Down, two, three. Maintaining that bend, squeeze. Down, two, three, and again. 
down, two, three. You're gonna be supersetting this with body weight push-ups. One thing I've been trying to do recently is have a lot more control over my body weight. So whether that be through push-ups, through pull-ups, and other things that I'm going to be including, you guys can see that in the next few weeks. I've just been trying to have a lot more control over my body weight. Don't knock it till you try it. Down, two, three. I've lost count, so this will be the last one. Two, three. Okay, super setting with body weight push ups. Hands. Shoulder width apart. Oh god, I'm out of breath, bloody hell. I'm not used to talking while I do it. Okay. Down. I actually prefer to do push-ups on my fists on the basis that my wrists tend to hurt. And doing it on my, on my fist kind of eliminates that. Also, when I was younger, I used to play rugby. We went to this oh, army camp training, right? Oh, and the guy always used to tell us to do push-ups, slightly narrower, elbows tucked in. Oh, I need a rest, oh my god. Elbows tucked in and on your fists. Because he always used to say that it wasn't a proper push-up otherwise, and I guess that kind of just stuck, really. Um, so yeah, that is our superset. Low flies, slight bend in the arm, push-ups, and we're going good. Drop the video a like if you are enjoying it so far. If you're enjoying my pain. That'll do. So, this has been fun. I've enjoyed this. I've had a great time. I've got a great pump. I've had a great session. Hopefully you guys have had a great time watching the video. We're not quite done yet. I'm gonna finish off with 30 minutes of cardio, around about 80, uh, 70 to 80 RPM on the bike for 30 minutes. Stick some YouTube on, answer some DMs, sort some stuff out because there's a lot of crap going on right now. My car's messed up. <laughs> We're going to that another time. It's not important. It's good to get away from it for an hour or two, train and just get in the zone, you know? Sometimes you need it. I needed it today and it went really well, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Drop this video a like if you have enjoyed it, guys. This has not been my normal training. My training is normally a little bit more structured than this, um, but like I say, over the past few weeks, I've been experimenting with new things and doing just a chest day. Like, to be honest, was just for this video. I wanted to do a home gym chest day video, and so normally there would be some shoulders in there. It would be more of a push day or like an upper body day or something like that. 
that hasn't been the case today, but sometimes you just need that to mix it up. Like next time, I'll make up for the other movements. I'll do shoulders and back together or something like that, you know? You have to be able to adapt. One, because if you're in a public gym, you're not gonna be able to get absolutely everything you want when you want it, right? It's a, it's a, it can be busy, it depends on the size of your gym. You might be able to get the equipment you want, you might not, it's as simple as that. And so you have to be willing, you have to be able and knowledgeable enough to adapt. I mean, I don't have to adapt, but I did for a video, but the same kind of principles will apply if you get what I mean. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know if you try this workout and let me know your thoughts on it. Drop me a DM, drop a comment down below or something like that. It'll be much appreciated. Thank you so freaking much if you are still watching. I love you. I appreciate you. Together, we will grow. And I will see you in the next one.